द टाइम वेन इंडिया फर्स्ट प्रेसिडेंट वॉज एज बिटवीन टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एट दैट टाइम दिस बॉय वुड आस्क हज ग्रैंड फादर दैट सिंस हाउ मेनी ईयर्स आर यू हैविंग महायोगी देवराहा बाबा दर्शना एज एन एंसर हिज ग्रैंड फादर उड से सन वेन आई वॉज ऑफ योर एज I started going for Mahayogi Devraha Baba's darshana and till today I see him as he was before by having his darshana I get special joy and on hearing his nectrin speech all my spiritual curiosities get solved when along with his grandfather Dr Rajendra Prasad started visiting mahayogi devraha baba the latter would converse with his grandfather the child out of child like playfulness would play nearby where trees leaves fruits etc abounded sometimes in between the child would hear what mahayogi devraha baba and his grandfather said to each other Sometimes noting this boy's playfulness his grandfather would chide him and if he forcefully try to discipline the boy mahayogi devraha baba would say oh child this boy is very cultured with a good character my blessings and grace pour on him a lot when his special mental qualities shall awaken you shall not be alive when they would leave mahayogi devraha baba would give the boy very special sweet delicious fruit as blessings and along with a curious but very attractive slight smile would give his special blessings he would teach the boy child when you come again for my darshana do get this little boy also with you once during a conversation when the episode of mahayogi devraha baba's blessing was being discussed dr rajendra prasad had said that later also after completing studies i would visit mahayogi devraha baba for a sacred darshana sometimes mahayogi devraha baba would look deep into my eyes in a special way and at other times he would also say oh child you are a king i felt mahayogi devraha baba's behavior towards me when compared to other people visiting him was a bit different i understood the hidden mystery of all these incidents only after i got elected as the first president of india after actually becoming president when i visited mahayogi devraha baba for sacred darshana so has to thank him for his grace then during our conversation he again said oh child you are a king mentally experiencing shyness i thought to myself gagan chade hai राज पवन प्रसंगा मिली किच नीच जल संगा इट मीन्स दैट डस्ट ऑफ ग्राउंड पर्सेस नो ग्लोरी ऑफ इट्स ओन वेन ऑन असोसिएटिंग विथ विंड दिस डस्ट स्प्रेड्स आउट इन द स्काई अब एंड ऑन कंजॉइनिंग टू वॉटर इज नोन एज वेरी लोली क्यूमायर सिमिलरली आई पर्सेस नो इम्पॉर्टेंस और ग्लोरी एट in whichever position i am in today it is only the grace and blessings of you mahayogi devraha baba this episode in a couple of sentences has been written by india's first president dr rajendra prasad in his book autobiography of dr rajendra prasad spiritual message given by mahayogi devraha baba to india's first muslim president in the year 1966 ad dr zakir hussain visited devraha baba for darshana in pratyangraj allahabad where 
a maha kumbh mela was organized after prostrating at devaraha baba's sacred feet he got baba's blessing the president had some spiritual questions related to quran e sharif which he asked baba in persian language as a reply baba spoke in persian and thus clarified the meanings of a few yats of quran e sharif the words that devaraha baba spoke to dr zakir hussein from the quran e sharif rendered the president spellbound when he noted the mystery of language and omniscient nature of devaraha baba on having darshana of mahayogi devaraha baba sarkar full of wisdom knowledge devotion to god and an icon of divine love the president was simply wonderstruck later the president said that i never knew that on the planet earth such wise deep thinking and omniscient saints are present in this very kumbh mela a world sanskrit conference was organized as per the humble request of the chief of this conference and other senior officials devaraha baba kindly agree to go there there along with remembering almighty god devaraha baba gave a nectarine speech to he unfolded the main portions of vedas puranas upanishads other scriptures panini grammar etc and thus the great glory of sanskrit language was showcased devaraha baba said that vedic knowledge is a supreme science only with its help can world humanity attain the golden benefit of eternal peace sanskrit language is spoken in just all about worlds or lokas not only in sanskrit language worldwide in nature but that to label it cosmos pervading is certainly not inept by imbibing sanskrit language the path to attain supreme divine wisdom opens up easily in this very sacred speech when devraha baba in detail analyzed some very difficult mantras from a chapter of samaveda the large group of internationally renowned scholars present there on witnessing baba's irresistible great scholarly prose very naturally realized that it is goddess saraswati herself who spoke from the lips of reversed devaraha baba since she resides eternally in baba's divine soul this is because such difficult precious mantra gems gush forth from the mouth only after deep reflection meditation and thinking that too far for a long time span devaraha baba would say brahmacharya is that fertile ground wherein the sapling of yoga sprouts forth it is only with the power of brahmacharya that kundalini shakti or divine serpent power awakens it is only due to the power of brahmacharya that kundalini supreme energy can be reinstated in the thousand petal lotus present in the brain region called brahma randhra in yoga terminology thus such a devotee gets the divine vision and experience of brahma jyoti or divine light devaraha baba said brahmacharyan tapasa divo mrityumma pagnat with the power of aesthetic due to observance of brahmacharya that dim gods gained victory over death it is due to this path only that one never forgets anything that one studies strength just 
daring, steadfastness, revolution, divine aura, divine light and truth pertaining to the body and soul heavily depend on brahmacharya. Both brahmacharya and truth are mutually dependent on each other. If one imbits even one of these in a complete manner, then the other gets imbibed without any special efforts on our part. Even a little bit of spiritual uplifting helps us all experience the bondage of the body has divided. The body is mitya or fleeting due to almighty God's power of illusion and is the cause of world creation. The soul is the conscious divine principle. Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithyam God is truth and world is false. By giving the example of demon Ravana, Devaraha Baba said he was a scholar of high stature and a supreme devotee of Lord Shiva. Yet because of three taints in him, Ravana got destroyed. These were first passionate attachment towards many women who were not his legal fully wedded wife. Second, eating food that must be avoided at all costs. Third, vain arrogant pride regarding his bodily might. Due to these three things, Ravana got totally destroyed. Regarding this Saint Kabir Das says, Ek lakh puta, sava lakh nati, tha Ravana ghar dhiya na bhati. On this very topic, Saint Brahmand ji says, Bade bade prithvi ki raja, priya rat sagar samandre, mile sabhi dharthi ki mahina, Rahe na ek nishan re. Hence, the physical body is illusionary and the soul in it is truth eternal. The wisdom of the body, that is soul, atma, principle has been detailed by the Upanishads and the Vedas. These Vedas have been written in Sanskrit language. Hence, the knowledge of Sanskrit language by Walking the path of attaining the divine truth or almighty God on its own is complete with divine great import. The divine teachings of Devaraha Baba had in a trance-like manner mind blocked both great scholars and the ordinarily huge lay audience in such a manner that they forgot how much time has lapsed by. In such a big gathering, silence got broken only when Mahayogi Devraha Baba stopped speaking. So in such a nectarine manner after saying Shri Namo Shri Man Narayana. After this, as per Mahayogi Devraha Baba's comment, all scholars present encouraged the entire huge gathering there to chant Sriman Narayana 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 for five minutes continuously. Thank you.